there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are doing a free play Friday! And for free play this week on the PlayStation, we're checking out Pox Nora. Now, this has been about for a good couple of months now, but I have not got around to playing Pox Nora previously. So, I am curious, I would like to know, show me more, tell me more, my friends! What is Pox Nora? Well, I think, I think from previous research, what Pox Nora is, is a... Oh, hang on, I better turn off the music that's playing in the background too. <laughs> Pox Nora is actually a top-down strategy game deck-based battler. I could be completely wrong on that, but that's like that's what I remember. This is a, the passively whenever I first looked at it, whenever I first saw videos of it, and I saw descriptions and details of it. And I think Pox Nora has been about on PC for a fair amount of time. In fact, this menu screen looks pretty damn fucking old. So uh, let's see here. Uh, ooh, okay, so there's deck manager, there's daily quests. Um, this I know nothing of this. I have no idea what's going on. So there's rank play, solo play, training, custom games, and deck manager, and I'm pretty sure I should play training first. Shouldn't I? Should I should I should I use this episode to do training or should I use it to do a solo play and get my ass beat? Yeah, let's go solo play actually. Let's, <laughs> let's give it a try. Oh, there's a campaign. Sweet. So Tales of the Protector, Tales of the Wrath, Triple Threat, Chris Beast, Ewan's Last Stand, and Hopping Mad. Alright, so let's assume. In, oh, this is actually. Oh, there's actually a massive amount here. So there's classic Nora Wars, new campaign, uh, dailies. Cool. So there's actually a fair bit of detail in this, actually, like amount of different worlds and things that they've actually built up over time. Um, let's give the Teals of Protector a try. Uh, difficulty. Legendary, hard, normal. <laughs> Legendary, hard, or normal. No, I think we'll go normal, you fuckers. All right, um, I have no idea what I need to do in this, so let's just play campaign and see. Like, I can't lose anything on my first try in the game. There's like nothing to be lost. So let's just wander into the server and see what we got. All right, so I imagine, uh... Ooh, Tales of the Savage Tundra. So what are we doing? Oh god, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, so. Do I press a button? <laughs> Alright, so what's here? Oh man, I really have no idea what I'm doing here. All right, so am I that thing? So can I move to here or? Right, we are well beyond the point of. She <coughs> surrender. I that I have no idea what was going on there. That that was actually like literally dropped me in with absolutely no concept. Um. Let's try that again from training. <laughs> All right, so basics. Uh, complete the training mission. Play through the free tutorial missions to learn how to play. Right. So <laughs> it's going to be a tutorial lesson, guys, because that looked like a wall of stuff. We're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what the buttons are. So we need to sit back and take a little bit of a slower pace of this. Oh, the opponent's turn. It's okay. To tell me things. The goal is to destroy your opponent's shrine before they destroy yours. Press the X button to continue. Press down on the right stick to exit the rune dock mode. Then pan around the map using the directional buttons or left stick. Okay. Is this using it there now? Yeah. Okay. Press up on the right stick to activate the rune dock. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. And select the indicated champion. Yes. Oh, right. And then with the directional buttons and press. Okay, so you place them down. So you place down troops in places. And then navigate to the indicated space and press the X button. Does that then place now? So up, cross that one. 
and place them there. Okay, pass and hold the square button to end your turn. Okay. <coughs> so the whole point is, is actually set down troops in place, and then it's turn based combat. Alright. Then I assume the person moves from there. Uh, Nora is required to play runes from the rune deck. You will generate Nora. So yeah, this is actually ability to generate mana from the deck. Okay. And put you up there then. Right. Action points are generated for your champions at the beginning of your turn based on the speed stat. AP is typically required to move and perform actions. Right. So, indicate a champion by pressing the directional button or the left stick and then pressing the X button. So, yeah. Right, there we go. And watch him walk down there. Okay, yeah, that's one of them to go. Alright, so I need to pick that one. Sorry. And move her to there. Alright, so you get more for fonts. Okay. Control the fonts, transfer it between turns, press and hold. Scrub button to end your turn and watch the Norfont change your control. Alright. You have to be within its range. No, I get ya. So I'm assuming they're going to do the same thing. And then their turn over there to get that font. Yep. Makes more sense. So now we're actually going to be building up stuff. Build more pylons. Select the indicated champion. Uh, okay. Boom. Selecting that champion. And move. Oh, right. You press square. What does he want me to do? Um, oh, I can get the information. Okay. So, end up grabbing the character, move them to the square that they're meant to be in. Um, he has captured a font. Yeah, of course. Let's change that for the better. Oh, and kick their asses! Okay, press and hold the square button. And your turn. So we're essentially like setting up the characters to be in the way for each one of these. Oh, combat! I'll cut you in half! <laughs> okay, so next turn is... <laughs> and press the square button. And press the square button again. Boom! That makes sense. Awesome. So that's easy. You pretty much make an attack. Uh, first attack consumed three, the next attack will cost five, so it's indicated increased by the amount of attack you do. Okay. Boom. Oh, you make attacks until there's actually no attacks left. Okay, gotcha. Ah, so you take that font whenever you actually do that. Sweet. Cool, so that one's mine now. Oh no. Not good. Ah, so they act as deployment places. And then you put one there. Ooh, wow. All right, I can barely see what I'm doing here, dude. Okay.
Um, I can put down another character I'm imagining. So I'm trying to figure out what I can put down that'd be worthwhile grabbing. I'm put a barbarian down again. And one of these. Is that in my turn? Yep. Sweet. There we go. So now I have to generate uh, AP points for this. That's what I'm curious about. Do they not move on their first turn? Is that what it is? So it's actually if you press a button it ends up activating the attack. I was wondering why I wasn't actually being able to move there for some reason. It's fun now. <laughs> right. So I can't, I only have so many attacks I can make per turn. Right. So what am I meant to do now? Destroy the enemy's fortress? to see how many characters I can put into one time. Um, yeah, can I actually do an attack now? Oh, 
Hey! That should be everything set up now that I can descend. All these are about to attack. <laughs> right, this is slow going. Um, I can see why this could actually be really appealing to some people, uh, but this is slow, slow tasking for me. Um, I can get the pleasure of playing one of these games but it doesn't really hit me just yet uh, I'm not I'm not seeing it Somebody kill that motherfucker! Go on, die! Oh, come on! There we go, he's gone now. And then there was this many people right here. So essentially I'm going to end my turn, and hopefully I can actually take down this building with all the guys that I have sitting there now. They do die too slowly, man. That's what the biggest problem I actually have with this is, that it actually takes too long for the creatures to die. Right. Oh, man. So, I just, because the problem is I don't know what any of these skills do a lot of the time, so I really am just trying to attack a building. It's so slow to... I, I mean, I can understand, because these are like methodical, kind of like, types of games, but this does not lend itself to controller function in any way, shape, or form. Like, just the, the amount of movement that's involved. Is there anybody who can actually attack? No, there is not. Oh wait, there is. No. He can't attack because he hasn't got a... No space. But he can. And why isn't he? Oh god, this feels so clunky. So, I imagine this being really popular in a um PC format, but everything feels so browser based, kind of like it's slowing itself down because there's too many creatures on the field, and it's not massively appealing. Like it's not, it's not, it's not making me want to play more anyway. That's one thing I'll tell you. Come on, can you 
you just walk in there, please? So can we attack? Please, can we just attack? I want to take down this place. Did we get it? Hey! So, wow. Um, 16 minutes to take down a tutorial level. And of course there's in-game currency in the game and leveling up and probably many packs to buy of many character types. But UI wise, um, UI methodology pace it would well, that that's not cool i mean I, i'm looking at the thing is i'm looking at this on a 32 inch and a 42 inch screen and i cannot distinguish anything that's on that screen this is a poorly optimized for console gameplay um there's some games that do it really well there's some games that don't it's just a matter of like oh, is this a game that you could play whenever you're not sitting with your face right up against the screen and this ain't one of those it really isn't it doesn't feel like it it feels more like it's a game that's designed to be played mouse and keyboard or even on a tablet that's sitting right in front of you. You can actually tap, 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 tap. Control pads do not lend itself to this game. I could not honestly in good nature recommend Pox Nora as a game to play. This is not fun. Not fun at all, really. Um, I'm sure there's... I'm gonna, what I'm going to do after this is probably going to look up some Pox Nora professional players i'm sure there are people out there that play this really regularly and they probably have it like all refined down into what every move and skill does but wow that is not an enjoyable experience for me um that's that's that's, that's per per gameplay guys um not much else i can really say about pox nora you saw you saw what the basic mechanics of it are i'm sure there's actually much more elaborate and bigger things to uh, to someone but it's a deck based rts grid combat game and, and I, a game style like that needs to be faster it, it just didn't hold down buttons to actually make moves go and actually like double tapping and triple confirming things not fun not fun for me so yeah guys if you enjoyed this you enjoy me looking at pox nor you want to know more about games that are available for free on the psn on ps4 then make sure to come back on fridays for the free pray friday free pray free pray we don't pray here keep it christian we uh free play on a friday so this was pox nora sorry for a disappointing no, no brilliant new game to check out but it's here if you're interested i'm willing to bet you might be able to play it in p well you probably can play it in pc as well and most likely on pc and um if this type of game intrigues you knock yourself out tell me what you think about it. tell me about how much bullshit i'm spewing here in the comments below if you actually think otherwise but um if you enjoyed it and you actually liked what i had to say and you learned a little bit from it and you decided you don't want to come anywhere near it then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner and i completely understand if you don't do the whole subscribe thing not everybody does then memorize the name past each of skin all you have to do is look for me google me search for me to just type it in somewhere and you'll be able to find me and you can check it out and i look forward to seeing you Oh, I've, this is actually on YouTube as well, right? So, boop, there you go. there'll be a button up there for a subscription. There'll be a button here for our recent playlist. There'll be a button over there for the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video for you based on the user analytics and details from YouTube. They will have chosen a video for you to check out. So I recommend you see that one. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.